just like the song said, everybody breathe in. So you have we're alive again. Amen. I said amen. Amen. So we are reconciled to the body of Christ and we are absolved of our sins. That means our sins are gone. Really? Yes. Forever? Yes. But what about? No. They're gone. There's no magic filing system in heaven where they've logged everything that you've done. When you receive absolution, your sins are forgiven. There's no grudge held against you. Forgiven and forgotten. There's a really neat saint. Her name is Saint Faustina. And we'll talk about her a little bit more tomorrow. But I want to share a brief story about her right with you right now. Saint Faustina lived in the early 1900s. And Jesus appeared to her. Jesus appeared to us just a moment ago, right here. My hand is in the space that he was. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but he literally appeared to her. The same way he appeared to his apostles. And he told her all about his mercy and his love. You see, it was a time in that part of the world, in our world period, where we lost sight of how God loves us and how compassionate he is for us. And she wrote a huge book <coughs> called The Journal of all of her experiences. And she went to her priest and told her about this encounter with Christ. And he said, oh, we want to make sure that this is actually happening. Ask him what sins I confessed in my last confession Sister Faustina is an obedient sister, faithful to her leaders. She went back. The next time she saw Jesus, she asked him. And Jesus said, I don't remember. I don't remember. When she came back and told the priest that he knew that it was Christ who she was talking to, who, who was appearing to her. Your sins are here. See? Let's see what I have Let's let this match represent Jesus for us. Why the world coming to take our Turn off the lights. Wow. Oh, 
took our place. There's no ash, no memory. So, uh, this is what is next. I want you guys to hang out. You know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. I need you to stay in here. You can't go anywhere else. But just hang out in here. If you haven't finished your process, this is a great time to do that. If you haven't written any affirmations to anybody in your small group or anybody else, this is a great time to do that. If you have no clue who your secret servant is, this is a great time to talk to one of these three awesome ladies over here and see if they can help you find who they are. Okay? So, uh...